Camping in winter is great. You build a nice fire, marshmallows with the kids, snuggled up in your sleeping bag at night. And if you're like us, you like to go to these places with no facilities, away from everyone, just you and nature. That's what camping's all about. There's a slight issue though. Come the time you need to shower, no one wants to do it. It's freezing. So when our good friends at Super Cheap Auto wanted me to test some of their gear, particularly the Ridge Rider brand, I took the opportunity and ordered one of these. Their portable Insta shower. And so here it is. I've tested it the first time and it worked great. The manual was so easy to read and the unit itself is so user friendly. So I'll unpack it and I'll let you know what came with the unit and I'll show you its features and how to set it up. So the bag itself is nice and sturdy. It's got good straps. There's your manual. So you've got the unit itself and all your accessories and bits and pieces in here. Now Super Cheap doesn't sell the propane bottle that you need for this unit. So I grabbed this from Bunnings, just a local hardware store here in Australia. But apart from that, it comes with everything you need to, to be able to use the unit. It comes with your outlet hose, which has your shower head at the end of it. And you can set different types of sprays. And you have your inlet hose, which includes your submersible pump at the end of it. And you have your power lead, which goes straight to your cigarette lighter socket. So to power the unit, you can either plug it straight into your cigarette lighter socket in your car, or if you're concerned that it's going to drain your battery, you can get yourself one of these, a jump starter, and you can power the unit straight into your jump starter. comes with your regulator, and it comes with a spare fuse as well. Alright, so let's go ahead and set up the unit. So let's start by plugging in the unit into your power source. And we swing out our water outlet and get our outlet hose, which is the one with the shower head. And we get our inlet hose, which is the one with the submersible pump. And it goes to water inlet. And, and you hook up the cable that goes to your submersible water pump into the pump input connector. You grab your propane bottle and hook it up to your regulator. Like so. And hook it up to your gas inlet connector. Tighten it and check for any leaks. And from here, and you basically put your submersible water pump into your water source. So don't put it straight into streams or the ocean. You can't use salt water in this unit, it has to be fresh water. So I'll put it in a bucket, put the submersible pump into the bucket, and make sure that your shower head is in the on position. And on top of the unit, you'll have your control for your gas. Put it in the middle, and then turn on your power source. And then once you're all ready to go, press the start button in front of the unit and the pump will automatically start going. Water will start flowing into your shower head within seconds and you'll hear the igniter activate and you will see an indicator in front with a temperature reading. And within seconds, you will notice that the water temperature starts to raise. And once it's going, you can adjust the water temperature using this knob up here. So you can lower it down by going to low and high obviously for high. If you want to stop the unit all you have to do is press the start button again and while you're using it if you switch the shower head to the off position the water will stop flowing onto the shower head but the pump will still be going and as soon as you, as soon as you flick it back to the on position water will start flowing again. If you want to completely turn off the unit all you need to do is press the power button in front of the unit to turn it off. If you like camping in cold weather, taking a hot water shower like this is definitely worth it. 
If you like what you've seen, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Also, check out our channel for product reviews, campsite reviews, practical forward driving and camping videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.